Virgo welcome back to the channel this is Kelly from House of Virgo if you're new please smash that like button and do subscribe Virgo let's get into your weekend reading and see what the energies what's going to be playing out for you this weekend this is going to be from May 10th through the 12th happy Mother's Day to those of you who are mothers or um uh, acting as mothers or fathers who act as mothers all right let's get into this let's see what's on top on top for your weekend virgo sun moon rising or venus okay oh so the eight of cups thinking about traveling or going somewhere virgo it looks like let's see oh yeah so either you are going somewhere you have the eight of cups and the nine of cups this is kind of like um, a place for you to indulge. So there, an indulgent trip or a connection could be love. There's a lot of water energy and cups here. Um, talking about taking a trip with someone could be a water sign. And there could be something as far as going somewhere in October. Some of you might be making plans for a trip in October let's take a look here oh okay so yeah i feel like some of you over this weekend are going to receive some kind of gift or opportunity to go somewhere so someone might buy you tickets or you might get there might be a bonus or some money there's definitely an opportunity a great financial opportunity as well this may not be about r and r it could have something to do for some of you with um, business financial investments uh, something that perhaps you have been dreaming about now if it's not travel it's just something that you've been wanting and have been needing some money in order to have something take off okay someone could be investing in a project or a company or something that you have a great interest in it's kind of like with the nine of cups that's always like a wish come true so something a wish of some sort okay and i feel like if this is something that you have you know kind of said to yourself man i would really love to do this or i really love to have the opportunity to do this make this wish would be like a, a dream come true for me and you've been waiting for money or some type of a uh, financial opportunity to do it um it's been held back for whatever reasons there just could have been maybe background checks or money or someone may have been hesitant to gift this or give it it gets released over this weekend okay <laughs> yeah the ace of cups in the reverse so this is just a delay and it's been delayed it sits on the four of pentacles so this th situation has been delayed a love relationship has been delayed or, or some type of a wish that you've wanted has been held back whether it's love business opportunity finances i feel like over this weekend it's going to come through for you okay and it may be delayed all the way up until like say saturday at 6 p.m and then at 7 p.m boom it arrives you know it could happen where it's delayed all through the weekend and then on sunday boom you get word it arrives so this is one this is awesome i feel like the message here is keep the faith stay positive things will work out everything eventually works out anyway whatever's for your best interest so i love this opportunity okay interesting king of wands now for some of you before i started shuffling this instantly in my mind i had an image of the king of wands can um gosh sagittarius leo aries so let's see why is the king of wands playing out here okay for some of you this is regarding you you could if you're on the cusp of leo and virgo all right mm. um so there is a king of wands who's been thinking about you they've had you on your mind okay they've had you on their mind now i do feel like there is a physical component to this and there is some type of um uh intimate physical intimate component to this i feel like this person could be somebody that you could work with or they're attached to some type of a, a business or place of work um 
they've been kind of keeping on their own they might be a you know it's funny because to say it's a fire sign that is um introverted or quiet it's not un un unfathomable uh, um I, there, there there are some fire signs out there especially if they are older in age but they're very mature and wise but they keep to themselves and i feel like this is that fire sign they keep to themselves <clears throat> excuse me a little bit quiet they're not overt type of a person they're not excess in their energy they're quiet keep to themselves they do their job they could work for a family business or your family business um i feel like this person I, and i have to tell you if you don't know who they are you could meet them over the weekend but if you do know who they are this person runs away every time there's some interaction with you and i feel like this weekend that's what they're gonna do but it's it's because this person is so oh what's they're saying they're so highly attracted to you like you give them these vibes <laughs> if you know what i mean and it makes them a little bit uncomfortable like I, i'm just hearing they don't want you to see them that way i i don't even know I, maybe it's one of those situations where they they can't like it, may, it could be where you work with them and and no they don't want to cross this line but they they kind of think they do kind of they think about you like in this and i feel like we've been talking about that i don't know if it's a twin i don't know but there's a, a strong physical attraction you know they, they get some growth around you they get stimulated so to speak okay um so the message for this weekend in regards to this king of wands masculine or feminine is that if you connect with this person over this weekend whether they're new or someone you know and you you're like why is this person like they talk they're always looking at me or they come up they'll talk to me but then they, they they dish out real quick they dip out real quick what's the deal well this is the deal um for some reason i do feel like they don't want to it's it it's not that they don't want to i just feel like it it seems like very sneaky behavior but it comes across to me as this person i, I don't see that they're with somebody else it's just oh it, oh okay it's distracting <laughs> it distracts from their work or what they have to do or something like that I, Virgo I don't know I, I just need to tell you if, if, if you have this experience or if you're like yeah I know this is really my situation this is what's going on with this person like they have if you work on a creative project with them this could even be someone at the bank you know and they just they can't look you in the eye and you're like what's wrong with me do i stink do i have spinach in my teeth no it's not you it's them they're they're super highly attracted to you i just have to tell you that okay and so you might feel this over this weekend from this person all right so you also have the chariot you have the sun oh somebody has their son it's going to be visiting them this weekend a son or are you going to visit your son child all right you're gonna get some news that surprising news over this weekend that someone close to you has gotten married um there may be an apology coming from them about that i don't know why someone need to apologize um probably because i feel like this, this is not like an ex like oh i'm sorry i got married this is more along the lines of someone that you're close with that didn't tell you where they should have told you that they got married it's a shocking surprise so there may be like i'm really sorry um we eloped or we just tied the knot there's something along those lines uh, i feel like you're going to find out about that there may also be a pregnancy you'll find out where it's totally unexpected where someone e either they couldn't get pregnant or um it just happens okay and it's like oh my god yeah i mean i feel like it's positive i feel like it's a good thing and I, i'm also seeing a little uh, a baby girl being born um somebody finds out that they're pregnant over this weekend as well um during a a romantic tryst maybe um something breaks <laughs> <laughs> something breaks i don't know if that's you be careful there there might be um 
you or someone traveling somewhere and or meeting someone and you guys have like a romantic night together and then um you might not find out about a pregnancy but you might find out something breaks and yeah so that's a bit of a shocking kind of energy shocking kind of news showing up here okay what else does virgo need to know for this weekend okay so you're going to be receiving a message from afar also from a king of swords masculine or feminine air sign okay um so king of swords is going to tell you that they've ended something something has ended either they ended something or someone ended something with them or something's over um there's an energy of like loss or grief um but there's also an excited energy to tell you this okay so there's excitement about telling you this uh somebody's made a decision to end something it's kind of sad it's kind of over either they did or somebody close to them but they're super excited to tell you because they feel like even though it's sad it's something that somebody um, perhaps wanted to be over now that could be a job it could be another relationship uh, something that has kept this king of swords kind of um, tied down something's over sad to see it go was an interesting experience um could be somebody passes away um i don't know why they're excited to tell you that but you know it frees them up and i feel like that's what the excitement is uh <laughs> okay let's see what else does virgo need to know interesting message there all right ten of swords high priestess two of pentacles okay somebody here is dealing with a heavy betrayal and they are doing this they're voiding because of this betrayal it's really hit them hard they're trying to juggle their emotions and try to stay balanced okay um but I feel like there might be an element of depression or something along those lines. I do feel like whoever this person is, whether it's you or somebody else, clarity comes over this weekend. Truth and clarity. Because I feel like somebody may have been kind of like, feel like they were betrayed or stabbed in the back and they don't understand why. Um, and they're kind of avoiding making connections someone's avoiding making connections with other people uh, whether that's family friends or new lovers um, because they're trying to i feel like balance their emotions weigh their options figure out what the f, f happened this is what the energy is something happened and someone does not know why or what the purpose was trying to trust their intuition their guidance um, trying to see through the veil and a little bit confused with the ten of pentacles because it's a little bit like okay well it was this and then or no wait maybe it's this trying to neutralize and I feel like clarity comes the truth comes uh, in regards to um, what happened here there's also thoughts of how to overcome any obstacles in regards to this someone gets this like light bulb moment there's a lot of reflection in the sword here and all this reflection brings clarity um i feel like someone may decide to um just kind of keep avoiding like just be done with it whatever the situation is um uh, come to terms and realize that they just can't get blood from a stone and you know um even with having ideas of how to fix a problem, if, if the problem isn't receptive to be fixed, then it may just be one of those situations where it turns around and someone says, well, it is what it is, did the best I could, 
tried the best I could with either a relationship or a project, something to do with health or um, a career thing. It's not really giving up, so to speak. It's just kind of saying, I'm taking my hands off of this. Um, I'm not going to try to control it. Sure, I think I could find a way or understand what needs to be fixed. But if someone is not, like I said, receptive to fixing a problem, I feel like either you or another person is just going to leave it be over this weekend. So clarity comes over this weekend, Virgo. Okay, so you also have the Two of Swords and you, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Oh, wow. The Magician and Temperance. Virgo, you figure something out. You make a big decision. I see you over this weekend polishing your pentacles, so to speak. So maybe you're doing your nails and maybe you're going to polish up your aesthetic. Um, I feel like maybe doing something magical. You're really focusing on things that are important to you over this weekend and there's some kind of magic that starts developing because of that you're you're definitely manifesting this temperance energy where there's calm there's balance there's peace and there is you know whatever's meant for me will be for me it's like an attitude whatever's meant for me will be for me what isn't was never meant to be and just trusting the process in your life i really feel like you get into this place this weekend where you make a decision to focus on yourself and things that are of value and worth to you so some of you are really looking to see what is most important to you you know i kind of feel like um as some of you are just so how can i say this like an analogy like you're you're going through um a jar of old coins and polishing them up to see if there's anything valuable in there and it's a little bit more like you're looking inward to see what things are valuable valuable about yourself like what you look inward at yourself and say you know i, I got this i got that and i need to start dusting that stuff off within myself now others of you might even just over the weekend be working in some kind of sales of some sort um i'm, I'm hearing like finding some antiques and start selling them, whether that's antique jewelry, antique cars, antique materialistic items as well. Um, I'm feeling a real strong energy of um, trying to make some money or studying and looking at some things and trying to figure out like, or finding something of value materialistically and focusing on that over the weekend to create something really magical and amazing and even with temperance there there you go there's a money opportunity so it's requiring patience so if you're starting something you get some kind of an idea to make some kind of money or um to go dip into some savings of some sort to invest in something could have something to do with like magic or some type of um uh alchemy of some something along those lines whatever it is materialistic object um putting it out there you might be doing a demonstration or performance or selling something or um you could be doing it on social media you could be doing it like in an actual place um be patient with this because i feel like eventually the money will come in people are going to start paying for something that you're going to be offering To start paying you for a product could be anything anything at all <clears throat> okay yeah so you've got the page of pentacles you have the moon oh some of you are going to meet somebody in the course of this financial um project of some sort hmm so I feel the need to tell you, um, don't jump on this person. 
just yet when they meet when you guys connect this could be a business partner um but there's an attraction there's a new love there's a spark that you, you do get like a spark with someone over this weekend you meet them somewhere maybe you meet them first and then there's some kind of a business opportunity um because the nine of swords and the um seven of cups is behind this person whomever you meet i do feel like um They're going to be really awkward when you talk to them and seem kind of like dreamy or a little bit in outer space. <laughs> I just keep hearing like a little bit flighty and, and, and nervous. Um, I think it's all right. I, I think the reason why um, is because they're, you're coming in over this weekend meeting this person with a bit of mystery and allure. Um, and talking about business and it's kind of like wow it's like a two-in-one kind of thing they're saying uh, you come in with some kind of moon magic mystical kind of energy that's um, intriguing to this person and it gives them a little bit of like um, nervousness to be around you um, and then they get into like this fantasy mode a little bit here there's no ghosting, so that's good. They get into like, uh, wow, look at all the possibilities. They just see so many great things. Could be a cancer, or you might have cancer or Pisces in your chart somewhere. Um, yeah, so I do feel like you're going to make like a, there's going to be like a connection this weekend, like a spark of some sort. What else do you have? <laughs> okay. Um, there's a queen of swords that comes back from traveling. And there's a connection uh, they they talk to you or tell you either they're coming back from traveling or they are um, going to be leaving and I see you wishing them well um, I see you saying to this person I hope you have a good time with your friends or with your your people but they could also be inviting you to go somewhere with them over the oh, um, either over the weekend or for future plans um, I see you kind of like, hmm, let me see. I, I see you kind of thinking about it. I don't know why. Um, maybe because that's just a Virgo thing. Virgos aren't generally known to be super spontaneous. But I do see there might be a conversation too that someone wants you to relocate to them or move in with them. Um, and I kind of feel like you're a little bit like, hmm, I'll think about it. But I, I'm not so sure. I, I might want to start or keep dating. Um, or what about your uh, moving with you? Where do you? somebody might live with their friends and they ask you to move in with them and their friends and Virgo's like huh uh, maybe I don't know or it could even be meet the friends somebody wants to meet your friends or they ask you to meet theirs I don't know I feel like with you sitting here as the king of pentacles um you know you could have it this could be an air sign or another earth sign asking you or connecting with you or you telling them but I feel like there's a little bit of, oh, I got to try to see this from a different angle in regards to this. They might even be asking you about dating. And because the Knight of Swords is there, there is an energy of a lifestyle change. So there is a connection with someone who's <clears throat> might be asking you to make a change for them. Okay, you too could be asking this person as well. Um, but there is consideration. I definitely feel like there's so if you're looking if it's you asking and you're looking for a straightforward yes or no um i don't feel like you're going to get that this weekend i feel like this person is um definitely going to consider it over this weekend either traveling relocating changing lifestyle something along those lines it's definitely in consideration <coughs> okay so you have the three of pentacles the king of cups the emperor you have the world and the seven of wands okay so you have some kind of connection if you're in school or you work for someone your boss is going to be very um significant over this weekend boss teacher professor someone in an authoritative position could be military someone where there's ranks and then this person ranks a little bit higher than you from what i'm seeing right now now the thing about it is that um
this person could be on the cusp of um, Pisces Aries so that would be like March 19th 20th um, there is this completion of some sort a lesson learned a new chapter starting and this seven of wands makes me feel like someone here is like either fighting against the change to move forward or to move on you know what this kind of feels like two parts right so let me just break this down a little bit here okay so some of you may have someone in a higher rank than you um, need you to travel or fly somewhere you may hear about the this weekend or they may it may happen over this weekend it's it's a work thing okay it's a work thing you're being chosen you're being picked or you're being voluntold that you need to go somewhere um to either train others or train on something yourself and it's connected to work or some kind of a job okay or to go see them this higher ranking person ceo officer uh something big it, it could be connected to a job for some of you it's about school um you may find out you get accepted also into a school um maybe to continue your degree of some sort or the opportunity to continue your your degree there is money here you're sitting with like a lot of money it could have something to do with this investment that i was talking about earlier okay so i just want to put that out there but let's take a look this king cups with the world Ten of Wands and the Empress. Wow. Okay. So this King of Cups, so that's water energy there. Pisces, like I said, um, or other water sign. There is an energy of this person completing some kind of project or finishing something. You are on this person's mind as the Empress. Okay. You are on this person's mind. And I feel like as soon as this person has done something here or completes some kind of project. Okay. There will be travel or a visit to see you and a mother. To see you and a mother or you as a mother. It's a weird message. I feel like, okay, there is a, there's a reunion. There's a coming home energy, okay, for some of you. So it could be your brother. Um, it's a brother, a sister, and a mother um, coming together, too. There could also be um, a couple visiting somebody's mother or an aunt or someone um, over this weekend. So you may get some messages that somebody, there's been a change of plans when somebody could not come visit they couldn't come for whatever reason a birthday party celebration engagement family whatever wedding um, that's changed and I feel like you're either gonna hear about that over the weekend or this person's gonna show up over the weekend okay um, yes 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 but I will tell you it involves an elder feminine and to a, and and you and another person okay so there will be some kind of reunion that's happening um it might have been something that's okay they're saying planned for next april um or it could be something that's occurring um in june 4th also i'm hearing um or sometime between april that passed and june 4th but there is going to be definitely some travel or, and some change. Um, and I'm hearing once I've finished this thing, then I'll be able to meet up with you guys or meet up with you. Okay. So that's the strongest messages that I'm picking up for this weekend. I'm going to give you a couple of charms. All right. So you've got a bird. Again, that's flight. There's something here to do with flight. There could be travel at night. Could have something to do with Dallas, Texas as well. Um, I, they just said get one more. 
Oh, wow. Beautiful unicorn. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, look at that. Huh. A unique opportunity happening to you over this weekend, Virgo. A very unique opportunity. One of these is very special. One of these opportunities oh, or situations here is going to mean a lot to you. It will be very special to you, Virgo. Oops, sorry. Something that I feel like you've been wishing for or oh, your definitely wishes coming true. You do have a you do have a Scorpio showing up and you have Pisces. Like I was saying, um, someone is 49. We do have the letter N. Someone is 42. We have the letter S, the letter I. 1984 and September 14th is somebody's birthday. You have Gemini here as well. We have the letter E and the letter A. There could be a Sadie. Someone's name is Sadie. Someone is 53. Anything else for Virgo? Oh, a whole bunch. So now you have a Scorpio. Uh, I'm sorry, a Virgo. Another Virgo. Okay, someone's 36. Someone is born in 65 or is 65. September 20th. Someone is 57. August 29th. Significant birth date. We have O U O. I don't know what that means. O U O. Hmm. I want to kiss you. <laughs> we have a W. Somebody's birthday is in June. We have the letter A. September 15th. Um, 5th, 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 5th. Um, however, <laughs> could be the 15th. Somebody's birthday is in December. Um, I just heard A and W root beer. Somebody drinks or likes A and W root beer. Um, you also have a C and an, the letter I. Um, there could be someone, there's a connection to Italy. Someone says ciao. Um, is that right? Am I spelling that right? C-I-A-O, I think it is. Is that how you spell ciao? Says hello or goodbye. Someone speaks Italian. Um, oh, and then they're telling me French. So that oh you. Yes, with the I would be we, we, we. Someone speaks French, or there's a connection to France as well. Um, did I say somebody's birthday is in June? And did I say September 5th? I think I did. I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah, you guys, I'm going to leave that reading there for you. Just a quick, short little weekend. Well, I guess it was not short. Little weekend reading. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. If you want to book a personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. If you would like to join my channel, become a member of my channel, all you have to do is click the join button. Um, it is in the chat. Streamlabs does, um, does um, put it in the chat, and it's also in the description box. You just go over to the join button. And click that. Um, I want to welcome Marvin Tyler, Erica Walker to um, the HOV uh, channel membership. Thank you for becoming a member of my channel. It's $2.99 per month and you get cool badges, emojis, and shout outs. And you can even join the uh, chat gang. Right? So, all right, you guys. Um, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And I will see you all back here on Sunday. Bye. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.